Hey, so it's Book Wednesday, and once again, from the pages of my Kobo, I bring you... But up! It's called For the Wind by Cory... For the Win, sorry, by Cory Doctorow. Now, <clears throat> besides... Okay, I'm going to tell you the plot of this book really quickly, and then tell you a bunch of stuff that I really want to tell you about Cory Doctorow. Um, For the Wind is about gold farming. Now, for those of you that aren't big in video games, in like games like World of Warcraft or like shooter games or all these kind of games, there's a type of currency. Usually it's like gold or rupees or whatever. In MMORPGs or MMOs, just multi-online games, you can actually buy gold for money. Like game gold for real life money, and that's called gold farming. So there are people around the world that actually just play video games all day, and sell the gold that they make for real money, and that's how they make a living. They make a living by playing World of Warcraft. Um, For the Wind takes place a little bit in the future, and it takes place with a bunch of, like, a th four or five characters. One character is in China and lives in, like, really crappy conditions, and he's a gold farmer, so it's sort of like, uh, like gold mining back in the day, where they're, like, kids in little rooms and, like, caves, gold, like, going for gold, so it's sort of that. Another storyline is about, um, this rich kid that tags along with a bunch of Chinese guys gold farming, and, uh, I think the last storyline, there's only three kids, I guess, is about, um, an East Indian girl who gets contra- like, gets bought by a company to stop gold farmers in another completely video different video game. So it's, like, three video games, three different ways of gold farming. It's all nonfiction. It takes place a bit in the future, and it actually, like, breaks down how these people make tons of money in, like, one night. And one night they can rank, like, $32,000 just from sort of hacking the games and breaking lots of money. That's what Four of the Wind is about. Um, it was really funny, really brilliant, really moving, and really just, like, mind-blowing the way future and stock markets and stuff like that will work, the way that fake money involves real money, and it doesn't even matter if the game is fun anymore, it just matters who is playing and where are they playing. Anyways, highly recommended book. Now to talk about Cory Doctorow. I met, I found out about Cory Doctorow by the way I found a lot of my favorite artists. Um, authors, I mean. Um, I was in an airport, and I had nothing to do. So I decided to pick up a book, and one of the books said, recommended by Neil Gaiman, or Neil Gaiman said something good about it. So I was like, done. So I pick it up, and it was called Little Brother. Once again, semi-futuristic about hackers who end up going to, like, hackers that are, like, 60 and 15, end up going to Guantanamo Bay for being just way too elite. And they play all these really cool games in San Francisco, and they have a huge amount of chaos that goes down. Brilliant little book shows the way of surveillance. It's like, it's a play on Big Brother. They end up surveilling the government in the end. So it's sort of like reverse Big Brother. It's called Little Brother. Really great book. But when I read more about Cory Doctorow, I found out all his books are free online. He doesn't really believe in um, selling his creative works. All of his works is Creative Commons. This download was Creative Commons. If you go to his website, craphound.com, all his books are Creative Commons. This book I downloaded for free. And because it's Creative Commons, I can take any part of it I want and use it for my own needs. He even has audio recordings that are Creative Commons, so you can... He actually encourages people to take sound clips from his book and remix them into whatever you want, because he's like a, a semi-futuristic kind of writer. He's really thinking about how to get his words out there, and all it's by donation. Something really cool about For the Wind, I'm sorry I'm a little sick, is that at the beginning of every chapter, he dedicates this scene, is dedicated to, and it goes to a bookstore around the world, like um, the Toronto little bookstore he used to grow up in, has a little story about the bookstore, or online websites that uh, do a lot of free books. But, anyways, Cory Doctorow, brilliant author, sort of, kind of, the kind of author I want to be when I start writing. Try to make, I'm not all my works Creative Commons, because I kind of want money. But, um, I like to have a lot of my works Creative Commons, and I'd love to have all my audiobooks Creative Commons. 
because I think that's really neat. It, he actually struggles a lot with um, publishing houses because not that many people want to publish a book that anyone else can get for free and anyone can just download onto their ebook for like a penny donation or no donation is what I ended up doing to get his entire library of books onto my Kobo. And they have, he has PDF, he has every possible reader file. He has text, he has PDF, he has every other e-reader type file all on his Crap Hound website. You just click on the book that you want to read. I've only read For the Win and I've read, um, I've read Part of Makers, which is really great, need to finish it. And I've read For the Win, which is this week's. And I think I said that twice. I meant Little Brother and For the Win is the ones I've read entirety. I have Little Brother downstairs. So good. Um, start with Little Brother. Unless you're a hardcore gamer, then start for For, for the Win, because wow. Love Cory Doctorow. Neil Gaiman knows a great recommendation for this author. Uh, I think he's pretty young. He's pretty up and coming, and he's really cool on how he sells his books. Like I said, all of it's Creative Commons. Which is really strange for an author to actually say to his work while he's alive, take it, enjoy it, you know? And he makes money by just donations and stuff, and he survives, he gets by. So I think that's really cool. So even if you're not really into that kind of whole text, futuristic stuff, support his work. He's really changing the way the book industry works in nowadays. Because especially with people being able to download books and e-readers, they're saying it's like the death of text. Cory Doctor was pushing it so it's another way that people can read, another way people can access, and in a way, read more. So, huge rant on Cory Doctor. I'm sorry, I'm just really passionate about this because this is sort of the route I want to go as an author. Because, yeah, I want to write for a living, and this is sort of like a template for what the future of writing will be. And I'm being super idealistic, super optimistic, I know. Not everyone can be like Cory Doctorow, not everyone can write as well as he can. But I highly recommend you just check out craphound.com, uh, links in the down bar, and uh, check out one of his books. Uh, I think he has descriptions on all his books, all of them are sort of futuristic sci-fi, but not really sci-fi, because it's in our universe. No wizards, no magic, no tech robots, they're all sort of like kids in like four or five years from the future playing video games, interacting, hacking. Lots of fun. Great storyline. Great characters. Something Cory Doctorow does is really gets into the head of my generation and the generations younger than me. Generations that are growing up on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube. Really gets into the mindset of being able to connect to people like, like I'm connecting with you. Like I'm talking to you over the normal social teen romance kind of thing. Um, but yeah. For the Win, book I read this week. Brilliant. Uh, Cory Doctorow, amazing author. I'm really glad that I was able to read another one of his works. I read Little Brother two, three years ago. So, bye. Boop.